do you find yourself waking up and always feeling tired but you sleep a lot and the more you sleep the more you think that you're going to be fine but you're actually not here's the reason that i think that you need to consider if you feel that you're tired all the time rest but not just sleeping because sleeping is only one form of rest there's actually seven types of rest did you know that in this video, I'm going to be going through all seven types of rest, why you need it, and how to get it. Hi everybody, I'm Danusha. I'm a self-care coach, digital content creator, and small business owner. Check out my shop if you haven't already. If you're somebody who always feels tired, but you have no idea why, because you sleep a lot, you do move now and then, and you think you eat well. Rest actually has seven types. The different types of rest are physical, emotional, spiritual, mental, creative, and sensory. Shh. Oh, that actually does sound like a lot, but it's actually quite easy to achieve and to fit into your schedule. So don't let that overwhelm you. Let me know if you've heard about the seven types of rest in the comments below. So sleep and rest are not always the same thing. Although physical is a type of rest, we go through life thinking that we've had enough rest because we had enough sleep but there's so much more to it so physical rest is broken up into two parts active rest and passive rest sleep falls under the passive rest this means that when you're sleeping you get to rest and restore your energy but the active rest includes things like yoga meditation stretching includes massages it's something that helps your body with circulation and flexibility. So as you know, I actually do yoga. I have a video on yoga. You can go and check it out there. And I try to do it as often as I can, which maybe ends up doing like two, ends up being like two to three times a week. It really doesn't matter how much you do something, but the quality of it makes a difference to you. So even if you attend a class once a week, that might be good enough for you. Let me know if you're somebody who does yoga or Pilates. So another thing that I've been doing recently is Pilates. Although I've stopped for the last little bit, I did go to class for a while and I really enjoyed it. And I think it's amazing for stretching. So do check that out if that's something that's more up your alley. Okay, the second type of rest is mental rest. Mental rest is being able to be clear in your mind, being able to be focused. The problem is that we wake up and we're super busy and we are on the go the entire day and then we lie in our beds at night and we're like can't switch off that's indicating that some mental rest how can you get that you can schedule in breaks every two hours every hour what works for you in the day you don't need a holiday or vacation to fix that part you just need to have breaks throughout the day and have that little bits of mental rest to get your mind off things it's very evident when you can't mentally rest you know that colleague or maybe it's you that's always forgetful and has so much coffee but he's still irritable and always forgetful and he has a really hard time or maybe you have a really hard time concentrating on your work that's indicative that you need some mental rest okay the third type of rest sensory rest this is in no particular order we are bombarded with lighting with our, from our screens, from our cell phones, from this ring light right in front of me all the time. And our eyes actually need a break and all our senses need a break. I really found that grounding is a great way to do that. If you use things that smell great, if you use stress balls, there's aromatherapy stress balls, that's a break from your screen. You can also just close your eyes, look away, instead of staring at the screen the entire day that is a great way to rest as well you can do it every 20 minutes every 40 minutes really whatever works for you and at the end of the day if you want to sleep better unplug from your electronics don't watch tv you know a few hours before you sleep don't be on your phone before you sleep the blue light actually does make a difference okay the fourth type of rest is creative rest that may not be as self-explanatory as it sounds you might think that it means like drawing and like being creative but actually you know the creative rest really important for people that are trying to or have to be creative every day it's something that reawakens the energy and the wonder inside of you so when last did you go on a trip or like go to like 
uh, a beautiful waterfall or nature and just feel like super rested and like so intrigued or just like renewed or restored in the inside now that's the creative rest it's allowing yourself to see the beauty of nature the beauty of the outdoors and even if it's just a local park or somewhere that's nearby it doesn't have to be this grand occasion or like this uh, getaway or holiday that may cost a lot of money it also doesn't necessarily have to be that so what you can do is like you can arrange your table to or your desk to look beautiful to put pictures there that inspire you to have your affirmation cards which i have below to have things that really speak out to you and make you feel excited and in wonder and awe to actually sit there and do what you need to do do we know this person or it could be you that always is there when you need help you can always call them and you feel like they're just amazing people but this person when they get home or, or when they're alone, they really feel undervalued and underappreciated because they're always giving, they're always doing for other people. Or if you need a favor, or somebody asks you for a favor, and you're always saying yes. <clears throat> but you actually feel like undervalued and people are taking advantage of you. That might be indicative that you need emotional rest. Emotional rest simply means having your time and expressing your feelings in a space that feels safe and cutting back on the people pleasing. <clears throat> it means the courage to be authentic. You know when someone asks you how are you and you actually can't feel like you'll answer that, you just say I'm good or I'm okay, but you know that you're not okay. That as well leads to people that are not emotionally rested because you can't feel like you can be your authentic self and really share how you truly are. So let's be honest and let's share how we truly feel and I feel like this makes a difference with your inner circle, people that you feel that are safe and you can trust and you want to share with even if they can't give you the advice or that you aren't looking for advice but just being able to share that because it makes a massive difference to your life being able to share authentically. And then the other one is social rest. If you need emotional rest, you probably need social rest too. It means separating from the relationships that exhaust us and the ones that actually revive us. A lot of the time we have to give and we have to do things for people and we have a lot of expectations placed on, placed on us due to work. And we don't feel like we can really have that social rest because we're always giving and that can be draining and exhausting so surrounding yourself with people that revive you that uplift you when you're around them your energy feels better and enlightened and you want to do things and you know get out there and really feel uplifted have more of these occasions where you're quite intentional about who you're seeing where you're going and getting that social rest where like nobody expects anything of you there isn't this expectation and there isn't this um exhausting energy that you need to give in the situation you're just going to be yourself and nothing is expected and that's when you get that true social rest and the final type is spiritual rest and i think this one is self-explanatory it's being able to connect beyond the physical and the mental world and feeling a deep sense of belonging and peace in your life that may be religion for you it might be spirituality for you it might be meditation however that looks with you but knowing that there's something bigger than you that you aren't the center of the universe and that you know you're a wave in the ocean so getting involved with community in your daily life that can also make a difference for your spiritual rest so as we can see that sleep alone can't make us feel rested so it's time to begin actually focusing on the different types of rest that we may need and although it might seem overwhelming and might feel like bombarding try to look at these different spaces and see how you can include a schedule it more into your life and see if that makes a difference to you so this work and this rest seven types of rest was actually founded by dr sandra dalton smith and you can check her out online and she gave a TEDx talk on this so I just wanted to thank her for actually discovering all of this because it really has made a difference to my life so let me know below if you think that you are deficit in any of these types of rest and how you'll be going forward if you like this video you might enjoy the one on setting boundaries so I'll link that up below because if you're a people pleaser like me then that's going to help you and you can really get that emotional and social rest I'll see you in my next video